The West Poe Wolverines have been giant killers as of late. Coach Louisville's team were the only loss on South County's schedule prior to the final game of the regular season. They knocked the Cinderella Fairfax Lions out of the playoffs just last week on the road. Surely that stopped last night, right? They were on the road again, this time at the Lake Braddock Bruins home who have just been on a climb mowing down opponents. Early on in this one, D-Lips, the dynamic Bruin quarterback, drops back, rolls to his left, and lets this one go. He's got Dylan Corey on the other end, steps out just inside the 10-yard line, but on third and goal. At the goal line, but he's picked by Pernella Wusu in the end zone. He's going to be satisfied with the turnover. West Post stops the Bruins' high-powered O on their first threat of the game. The Wolverines would turn that into points. Early second quarter, Noah Christensen tries a 44-yard field goal. West Poe leads it, three zip. Second quarter, we're tied three to three. West Poe in the red zone. George Stamos in the shotgun. It's a planned run all the way. He's on the right side and he's in that end zone. He puts West Poe up 10-3 with 9-14 to play in the first half. Still second quarter, Owen Joaquin at the helm. He fires deep. And he's got the boss man, George Stamos. Westpo back in that red zone. First down deep in Bruin territory. Next play, Stamos rolls right. He finds Emmanuel Amp and touchdown Westpo. They go up 17 to three. Second quarter, Bruins in the red zone. DJ Lawrence is punching it in. They pull it back to a seven point lead at 17-10. Joaquin fires into the front corner of that end zone and George Stamos snags it. 24 to 10 with just over two minutes left in the half. Third quarter now, West Poe back in the Bruin red zone again. George Stamos on the RPO. He keeps it and he's in that end zone. West Poe threatening to run away with this one. They are up 31 to 10. On the following kick though, Emmanuel Asante. He's making some moves. He's across midfield all the way down to the West Poe 33 yard line giving Lepofsky good field position. He cashes in right away. Very next play, d -lips over the top to Evan Harrington again. Bruins pulling it to a two-score game, down just 31-17 at this point. West Poe moving the football. Joaquin is dropping. He's got Emmanuel Ampen. He's in Bruin territory, but he coughs it up. Lake Braddock comes up with a ball, trying to claw their way back into this one, that defense standing tall. We move on to the fourth quarter, d -lips. He stretches the field, and he's got another touchdown pass. This time it's Jalen Hoffman, touchdown Lake Braddock. It's 31-24. Late in the game, Westpo with a chance to ice the game and put it out of reach. Noah, though, chips at it, and that doesn't turn out well. The Bruins with another chance. Daniel Leposki rolling to his left, fires it downfield, but he is picked. Evan Wonderlich snags that thing. Westpo finishes off the Bruins 31-24.